The book Personal MBA by Josh Kaufman When Josh Kaufman was an undergraduate in college and accepted employment offer at PG to be associate brand manager in his new position, he would work alongside people with an MBA degree from the most effective universities. Josh did not have an MBA and couldn't justify going back to high school to urge an MBA and putting himself in additional than $100,000 in debt. So he wondered if there was the simplest way for him to master business basics without turning an MBA in business administration when he's doing research on business leaders who haven't got an MBA. He discovered an excellent business investor named Charlie Munger Charlie Munger who was Warren Buffett's business partner and together they developed Berkshire Hathaway to $400 billion per Charlie Buffett who can analyze evaluating any quiet deals faster and more accurately than any man alive. Munger has no formal business education as he's a meteorologist and an Om Omaha lawyer. Everything he knows about business, he personally taught him Munger says he's ready to understand business and make important business decisions by employing a network of mental models for the essential frameworks he uses to beat the competition. Josh was inspired by Munger and started reading many business books in search of the proper mental models he could use to outperform and outperform his MBA classmates as Josh read book after book. He began to work out repetitive patterns and discovered that the essence of each business is a component from a five-part framework of one value, part two, part three, sales, part four, value delivery, part five, Josh finance. Josh says that with none of those parts, you do not have a business. The project that does not create value for others could be a hobby that proper marketing doesn't possess may be a failure of a project that does not sell the worth it creates may be a non-profit project. A project that doesn't deliver what it promises could be a fraud and a project that doesn't bring enough money to continue the business which can inevitably close. So let's explore every part so we are able to become more capable of analyzing business and making better business decisions. As an employee or entrepreneur trying to start out creating the worth of the primary a part of the business, the question we'd like to ask here is are we creating something? People will actually pay it for the primary thing that must be understood when creating a successful business is to know what drives people to shop for a product or service within the first place and book bartering why do some things spread while others don't know Kevin main two basic characteristics that drive appropriate buying decisions and therefore the high precision convenience means that those who depend upon them quickly, easily and flexibly pay a premium for the convenience, which is why companies like Instacart, a corporation that try this grocery buying you is within the market, people can drive their cars to the food market and collect their groceries but they choose e to spend $10 extra to induce their grocery shopping and delivery to them, LAT means high aesthetic appeal, high emotional impact and high social standing an example of high definition is that apple computers pay people are a bonus for apple computers because they love the way it makes them feel and that they am passionate about it shows others that they appreciate great design however you offer a product or service that creates life easier for people or makes them feel special but there's no guarantee that they'll pay you for that example may be a product segway that cost quite 100 million dollars to develop that those who built the segway were sure that this device would revolutionize personal transport within the same way dot that the car replaced the horse and buggy but after they finally released the segway but 10 percent of their expected customer base actually bought the same way it had been extremely well designed and functional product but the market simply didn't want it therefore rather than going into hiding for a year and making something that you just simply think people will value it miles better to create an early version of a product and measure your customers response to it from that point you will be ready to make incremental improvements to your product until it's good enough for people to be willing to pay for it my next book video will dive deeply into how exactly you will be able to conduct this build measure learn process the second in element of any business is marketing and the question we wish to ask ourselves here is how well are we attracted and holding our customers attention when apple launched the original ipod they told the world that this device would be 1000 songs in your pocket this statement this idea was remarkable and it violated people's expectations it made people pause and take notice of the new product with in the book The Purple Cow author Seth Godin uses an 
exquisite metaphor as an instance this marketing principle as an instance you're driving down the highway and you see a field crammed with brown cows a field full of brown cows is ordinary and boring but if you suddenly saw a purple cow it would be remarkable it'd violate your expectations and it'd hold your attention any business that can have a purple cow effect includes a good chance of getting their customer to the third stage sales within the world of sales we want to ask ourselves the question how well do our customers believe and trust us if a stranger walked up to you at a stop and offered you $20 in exchange for $10 you probably wouldn't make the trade because it seems too good to be true you don't believe or trust them enough to make the deal and also the identical goes for sales people aren't willing to supply up their hard earned money unless they believe and trust a business can deliver on their promise how to quickly build up belief and trust is to endure social proof if you had a friend standing next to you at the stop who could vouch for the stranger you'd probably take the deal the equivalent for any business would be getting the recommendation of a key influencer like Oprah or getting 105 star Amazon reviews if a business is unable to create up social proof it simply needs to perform on the identical basis and be around long enough for people to trust it the more trust a business has the more sales the business makes the fourth part of every business is value delivery the question we prefer to ask ourselves here is are we exceeding the consumers at spectators 10 years ago if you were to buy shoes online at zappos.com you'd have received a lovely surprise the shoes you ordered would have shown up the next day unexpectedly zappos didn't advertise free expedited shipping because they knew that the surprise that would come from exceeding your expectations would be way more valuable customer and expectations should be high enough for the customer to urge in the first place but after the purchase has created the performance of the offering must surpass the expectations if you just like the customer to be satisfied come back and buy from you again and recommend the business to their friends one way to exceed customer expectations is to create highly efficient systems that deliver fine quality products during a fast and reliable manner like Zappos did with her within the future shipping in an exceedingly different way is to have exceptional customer service there's a story of a customer service rep at Zappos who noticed that a customer ordered a pair of shoes that were out of stock therefore the customer service rep visited a rival store purchased the shoes and deliver them to the customer now that's exceptional service the last word an element of each business is finance and this can be often where we'd wish to ask ourselves are we making more money than we're spending if not you want to reduce spending in one of the four parts mentioned previously or produce something of greater perceived value something of greater perceived value that Josh says is admittedly no more complicated than that. Yes, there is fancy models in jargon, but ultimately you employ numbers to choose if your business works the way you propose to be a good business mind about knowing all the answers. It's all about asking the proper questions and having the correct mental models with a five-part framework you'll be able to ask the correct questions. Understand any business and skip the MBA school that was the first message that I gathered from my personal MBA. Josh has over 200 business concepts during this. The book may be a great guide when analyzing or starting any business. Many thanks for watching.